Greetings from Mucus Asylum Stadium in Luniapolis, Craziana, where fans are burning effigies of GM crying pigskin in protest of his latest trade that sent three players to Grim Bay in exchange for a sack of toasters. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Los Scandalous Dam take on the Insane Colts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye-opener myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserk. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Oh, And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. run over by a freight train now it's just a race for the a man from prison just came out of the field that's the ref idiot oh. let's see what the penalty is <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team so it's up to the next man to replace him yeah what exactly is a burn returner grim you now players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense they have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll be second down and four. And like he finds up. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three.
Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and three. Stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back. Nice, nice catch. And he, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. And it's first and ten. For no gain. Then how is it a pass? <laughs> Second down and ten. First and ten. Ten yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and two. Supercharged and can electrocute any of oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble by G, the new gang from Wilbur Crabtree. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down in a lot. It's a glitterception! What's that, Grant? That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Whoa, mama! Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks.
First down and six. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. The receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Third down and three. underrated position in football the mighty punter and he put all of his foot into that one and he snags the punt and looks for open field oh there goes the ball it's a fumble is it still a fumble if his hands are attached to the ball and he scores that's six points for a special teams unit up and the ref just called a bullshit penalty At the end of the first quarter, this one looks like a rout. Someone give me a beer. If they don't pick it up here, and they've had enough, the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. He refuses to go down. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He's got a good chiropractor. Second down and five. somewhere but he gets stumped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all you can eat buffets they're not as literal as you think third down and three does the qb know which team he's on i don't even know oh nice hit Hey, you see that 
move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he's off to the races. He's at the 40. They might catch him. Oh, you fat loud Newton. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> First down and nine. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom to the moon. Another loser. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Yeah, you're time for time. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Third down and five. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three win, but my watch is a bit slow. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost power to win. Like a high school. <laughs> Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, And it's first and ten. And the runner is going to the pass. Look at the pass. He had to like his fouls here. Lewis is heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. Blast just cleared the field for the receiver. This guy's up. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and nine. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd have been fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. And there's another pick. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. <laughs> 
second down in a very lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brixton. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. He's got the pow. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for ten yards. Second down in inches. And that's a nice run for a first down. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. And the defense can... Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off-season. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Brick. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The 
offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. And it's good! You know, when in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. Slipped away like a grease. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show. Brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food. You'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Caught for the first down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down... Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's 
First and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably able to intercept it, though. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. With no one left on their roster, the insane Colts take a brutal loss by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Concrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.